Good morning, guys. How are you? Well, we are up to another prompt. And this one is a buttons prompt. And I'll show you what I've done so far with Mr. Bunny. So I've sort of outlined him and I've done a few bits and pieces, but I haven't done much more. I've actually stitched it down, but I've got to do a little bit more embroidery and all that kind of stuff on him. I want to put some whiskers on him. I want to put a little bit more there and embellish the leaves a little more. So, but he is at least a down, which is good, but he's looking very cute. Very, very cute. I was actually thinking with the buttons thing, I've got quite a few of these. Which are these lint, you know, like these bunny things. And I thought it would probably be cute to have a little necklace. But now that I see it, no. But it is cute. Um, so I've gone through my mum's stash of stuff and some of my other bits and pieces and picked out some buttons that I quite liked. And initially, there's not, we're running out of space here, people. Running out of space. So I was going to put it, this piece here, which is a piece that I got from um, Deborah from Doll's House Vintage um, when I actually was in England, and it's actually a French piece. Um, and I was going to put that, you know, tuck it under there and have it there. But then, you know, it's taking up real estate space. Oh, it smells so good. And here's another one that I was um, picking and was umming and ahhing whether I use that or not. Um which still might happen so um i've because it just this piece here where are we just move that up looks actually rather good here just sort of tucked underneath quite like that and i had it so it was just coming over and that was going to tuck in in there under like that and now that i'm looking at this that might work too so I might keep that um, pinned here for future use for another prompt. Let's hope it fits in. Okay, so I thought I had, you know, I did a couple of ideas and even put the buttons on there and I was going to stick some buttons on, on top of here and all that kind of stuff. But I thought, well, I've got these lines here and I originally had a handkerchief that went there, but now that I see this fabric, now hopefully we're in, yep, um, I'm thinking that's probably going to match this a little bit better. Um, now this is, I think, remnant bits of that, some of that old, really old French fabric I found at the market. I don't mind that. Okay. Long do we need it? No, we'll go. We'll go to there. Okay. Now, I quite like. I think I used some of this on my Jesse Chorley piece that I had. Didn't even get a look in on the Jessie Chorley thing. That was the way um, because she had a different one up and they all seemed to be alike and, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, that's just how it goes. Whether she just randomly picks them or I don't know. Now, we are going to... Um, I don't want to cover that. Okay, so come up. Well, maybe that might work the whole way. I sort of don't want to cover that either. Might 
to a, a strip going this way just a tad high on this side so we'll go up but it fits okay on the other side when it's under here it doesn't matter okay don't want to cover this guy but I don't want to cover that either going under Corinne's piece okay yeah, I think that's going to work okay it's filling in some of that there's that beautiful beautiful French fabric which is a a real treasure piece so and that's what this is about okay I thought um, well, this is going to be a quick a, you know quick um, video but you just never know okay you can go on top of there like that and grab another one Because it's got a little bit of blue in it and um, that was the main reason why I I grabbed this piece because it had blue in it so I will use that but I'm just going to put it aside just to give myself a little bit of room to move now and I had already picked out this for that other piece but I'm probably going to have to use something else now. So, well, that's the piece that we're going to be having down. And I might even just leave that up because it, you know, whatever next prompt and whether it all fits. It's a real raggedy little piece. It's a real antique piece, that is. But that's the bits that you use. I don't really mind some of the bits with the holes. So, hmm. some of this may be nice. I've just got little bits and pieces of threads everywhere. I wonder if I got this from an op shop in England. I'll do two threads or one thread. Probably not the right colour. I did bring that in, but that might be a little dark. Okay, hang ten. Got some blues here. Okay, we want something right. Might use these for the buttons themselves. Got some red and some, you know, pink buttons. Um, something a little thinner. That's pretty well perfect for that colour. I think that's going to work. And that's nice and thin. If we want to variegate it, I've got that one. But I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. And then we've got this cream white and that's more of a creamy color okay I'm just thinking for the buttons and then here's a pink yep that might work It'll be lighter okie dokie now oh, oh yep Okay, I have got stuff everywhere. I seriously need to clean this room. It's bad. It is bad. Now, got ourselves some colours. Um, so here's my little collection. 
and I really wanted to use you know I thought a button card would be really nice and I couldn't find one but I really like um, I'm just gonna you know the idea of having a button card I thought he fold that down stick that on there and it's not real thick which is good and I'm going to actually utilize this thread. I'm going to make it go through and then go on the other side because it's knotted down here, so that's good. I was thinking of putting that there. Now let's just hope that yeah, we are in camera and I could probably zoom it in a tad. Keep it there. Should be all right. Now I did have a bit of a layout. I've got this little, it's like a flirty list that's going to go down. I don't know whether I showed you this or not. Down here, I did the word amour, which is French for love. And I thought I was thinking of maybe putting the flirty list, you know, here, or oh, maybe even there. Um, and I've also got my SE, which was I was wanting to put down there and stitch down as well. Um, because it's good to sign your work. Here's Corinne's got hers here. And then I thought oh, I better put mine on there because I'd like to have to sign my work. So, well, this is um, a button from when I did my French kits and um, everyone got one of the buttons that I got in France. Um, and Joy was kind enough to um, post one back to me. So that's from my French it's just a plain old button but it's got a story i got that one from england i got a little girl's dress which had the most beautiful fabric on there so and that was on the dress so i really like that one this is actually something that my friend gave me what does it say it's not a button the world is but a canvas to our imagination and because i'm an artist I thought it would be nice to put that one there and just sew it down and incorporate it. This was another button that was in Joy's stash. Really like that. So I was thinking of maybe doing, you know, red, pink, red. That's going to go down there. Then I've got these really sort of old buttons that I got had in a little white pack. Now this button and this button and this button were from my mum's little box so I was thinking whenever am I going to use this button in anything it's massive so that one was going to go down right there just to sort of because the lace just ends so I thought I'll put it there and I might even stop the stitching here leave that so that it can go up you just don't know what you're going to do then I really like these antique covered buttons. So that's probably going to go down there. And then this, I bought a little tube of these beautiful pink buttons, which I've really enjoyed. So this is my collection of special buttons. Some are not from grandma, but from my mum. Um, yeah, so I'll just put these little bits and pieces back and um, proceed to maybe sew down. I was going to do blue, pink and then sort of like a darker pink down there and I don't know that sort of goes there doesn't it? It had a bit of purple and stuff in it. I was thinking that might be sort of like the white button section and then this is the bigger button section I don't know and I was thinking of maybe writing the words vintage button along there and vintage buttons because they're all vintage and I like this one I was thinking maybe put that down there with the love heart 
seam so that still may go down so I think that might be the go excuse me I am going to sneeze <coughs> um, there's some tissues and I always have to blow my nose after I sneeze so sorry uh, okay so yeah I think I'm happier with that than with the blue because it sort of matches in here but then part of me is like do I um, stitch it down with cream or with um, this the same yeah see that's the from that so um, hmm Hmm. Um, well that can be stitched down later so I don't have to um, bore you with me stitching this down but if we get our buttons and we see where's my where's my little pens I think I've got quite a few pens up here somewhere and the new one seeing if it works yep and do the word so we'll try and do it in order and we'll add on the other side and then there's on the bottom I think I'll probably stitch that one down first. So with your friction pen, just do just your basic capital letter um, writing. That way it's a bit bigger. If we do it too small, it takes forever. Oop. Vintage just adds a little bit of interest to the piece and makes it easier because it's a you know there's a bit in there and Okay, so I'll come back and stitch that later. So I think this one needs to be the one that gets stitched down first. And see if we can work miracles. May not be able to, but we'll see how we go. So where did we want that? Around about there, just sitting on the top. What I'm going to do is put in the pin. Pin needle. Then pull that through. There we go, so that's at the back. Then, actually, I might have a few dots of just a tad of craft glue on the bottom. At least we know it's going to stay down then. Okay. Because it is on a piece of um, cardboard. Okay, then better grab my pin, turn it around. And do the impossible of tying a knot. Just hope it's not going everywhere on the other side, I'm really hoping.
Now this is probably torture for you to watch, so maybe I should have paused, but I'll just sit and up to you while I try and do this knot. You, here we go. Oh, one. And two. Here we go. That's possible. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just... I'll cut that off later. Yep, it has moved. I knew it would. Okay. And then we're going to come in. Because there's a couple of holes in there. I might use that to stitch down. Quite like these little buttons. And I love my repeal buttons. So that works well. Now I need... Where is my little... Need some pins, and I've got plenty of pins inside because I was always working out in the kitchen. And um, here we go. Yeah. Might find something in here. Cool. Just in case we've got some smaller, some buttons with some smaller eyes. which we very may well have okay now so well we've got a few that's probably a bit creamer so we'll go with that one very exciting isn't it you watching me sew on buttons not okay um yeah, it's not, I knew it wouldn't be easy to jolly get this one through. Ugh. Maybe you need a bigger. Good old chenille needle, but it's going to be massive. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I've got other buttons here somewhere. Here we go. The old, not too small. Oh. A bit smaller than that. This one's long, but it's a darning needle. Oh, huge! The thickness. This is my old one that I got in in England when I went shopping. With um, Julie from Julie Legged Art. No, well, I'll just stick to this. That'll do me. Okay. See, we can find something else a little bit later. So I'm just going to stitch this one down. Hopefully. Yeah. Coming up now. I wonder if I can see where that hole went. There we go. Okay. No. Let's go through it again. Yeah, I've got a, um, one of those nice old button button pieces would be good. Actually, while I'm here, I might go in and around that piece and make sure that it's tied down and then I can cut that off. Okay. Oh, hair. Go around it again. cut this straggly bit off now I'm thinking it probably needs um, something on the other side so I'm what I might do is come through here ah. 
and half because it's the wad thing it ain't gonna go through you bludger jeez i'm not winning <laughs> i'm pricking myself left right and center now let's hope that it goes through i'm hoping okay probably go through but not out there we go the blue wants to come in on the action so that will do me um it's been glued down so i'm not too worried that it's not going anywhere so now since we've got cream and we had a few cream buttons on that side i'll just leave that there okay we had that one first. Okay. Now if we do it in there, I think we should be right. Is that going to still fit? Ooh. You think it's easy sewing on buttons, but no. Okay. Might need to go over a tad. Okay. Oh, that button went flying again. Oh, seriously. Okay, if we go here. Well, one of them's secure, so I'm going to probably do a couple. how are we all doing at first i thought buttons well this i've got buttons sort of scattered around the piece anyway but i think it is really nice to feature some nice buttons because we've all got some nice buttons in our stash and you know ones we got special ones from friends and mothers and grandmothers if you're lucky enough to have them i never knew my grandparents because they were in holland and i was in australia so, um, I think I'll do this one first. Okay. Um, around about there. Hoping that it's not probably too close. A bit further over. There we go. Don't want it too close. I need to have a little bit of space. I can smell that glue at least if I do it on that white line it gives me a bit of a guide that it's gonna be sitting semi straight okay. now I might as well do another one it won't go anywhere then now what I'm going to do with this next one I will go here and I'm going to go through but I would like I would like to actually add um, some sort of nice color in there so I'll just do, do a few stitches these are very strange because I don't really have holes for you, oops, well, you, for you to do anything in probably just do a couple of stitches okay Oop. don't want to come back with a just a color thread um to you know to do on top maybe even a bullion knot or something um to give it a bit make it a little bit more decorative so i'll finish that off i just need it down for now because it has the potential to 
something stitched on it. Okay, well that's a few buttons down anyway. Okay, now, yep, move that over there. Gets harder and harder as we get towards, um, you know, the end of the piece is that the buttons are. I still might stitch that down a little bit more, I think. We'll see how we go. I might just I'll put it there just to get that out of the way. It does get in the way a little bit now. Now. Hmm. Um, I'm just wondering whether this is going to get through, yes, which is good. May not get through that, I'm going to have to find something thin to put through there. Maybe we do some of our pink buttons. So, that's going to go there, there and there. And then, see, I've done them too close, but that's okay. They're all going to be okay apart from there. So, I'll get the pink. Might use the cream for that, actually. Should have put that down. And it's quite a thick pink, so I don't think we'll need too much. Where's my scissors? Yep, smaller ones here somewhere, I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? This gives me a bit of an idea of where I need to start with these buttons. Okay, my French pink one's going on. Funny, it's only sometimes the simplest things um, are quite nice. It's just this tiny little, and it's only a fairly, you know, simple. Here it is underneath. Simple little button, but it means something because I got it at the flea market when I went to France. So, okay, I'm gonna try and do it sideways, it ain't easy. There we go, and go through. Yeah, just as well I did those little dots that really helps. Okay. You want them fairly secure. At least at least three times. It's really loose, but it's not too bad. Well, if I can go another one, maybe I should. Okay. 
so this one here will be the next one and I might sort of you know maybe go across a little bit going underneath some of these so we're not having this thread everywhere yeah now come up here yep So how are you all going with our, um, you know, pieces? We're getting to the tail end of our piece, and I'm glad because I'm running out of room. So, oops, no, not too tight. We don't want that to be too tight. Okay. I think I may only get um, maybe two in this one. Oh, no, maybe three. I want it to go down and stay down. Okay, we can go across. Okay, and this one is. Just gonna do probably just two. Hopefully, I mean, camera guys. Sorry if I am not. Um, and then um, I'll go back onto that ready, ready pinky one. Totally riveting viewing for you guys. Wow. Let's have, show how to sew on a button. Now, um, I'll go up this way. Probably don't need to put it underneath. It's just so cute, this button. I really like it. And then, you know, when you look at it, I think of my trip to England and the op shop that I went into and the, that little dress that I bought it's very cute okay okay maybe three if I can it's a bigger button Oop. Yeah, it's one of those days. Sometimes I'm full of stories, and others I'm like, eh, had a busy week, that's for sure. Um, moving my son into his uh, a, uh, an apartment, not the one that was at home, the one that was away from home, but he moved um, somewhere else. Okay, now get that. that's done. Definitely, we'll probably do another knot. I really don't want that coming undone. And then, um, because it's a bigger thread too, sometimes they tend to come undone. Okay, how are we going? How are we going? Getting there. See, it would have been good if they had holes in them, but they didn't. So I'm only going to have the one thing. I'm wondering if I should put glue on that as well. That might get done after. So now I'm just thinking. Yeah, I've got my little. I always need this. It's been a while since I've done a bullion knot. There we go. I was thinking maybe I'll do a bullion knot across there. Will it work in the pink? It probably will. So we start off at A, go to B, come back. Okay. 
bear with me, people. Okay. Start off with a Go to be aha, uh -huh. no, not go to be. Have the needle go to be. Oh, no, I don't think you can do a bullion knot. Uh, well, it's going to be too hard. Oh, well, we'll just go over it in a pretty pink colour then. A few times just to put something nice on there. And a bit of a colour. A bit hard to do a bullion knot on that baby. I know what we can do. Divvy it up a bit. Then I'll do a French knot on the top and a French knot on the bottom. Or a colonial knot as I always do. Just to give it a bit of interest. Oh it's a big one. you do okay Ooh. okay and then maybe do another one on the other side because we can there we go uses up some of this thread too which is good and it looks like I've done a, um, what are they called? A divided by a sign. Dot on the top, dot on the bottom, thing in the middle. <laughs> oh, well, that's something anyway. It's a bit of interest. I wonder if I should do a little, that one here and one on the other side. Oh, I think so. Why not? <sighs> Okay, there, there. We're not doing a great deal of creativity on this, so you know, might as well do something to add a bit of interest. Okay, and then one on the other side. Yep, there we go. Now then, that looks a little better. And because it's um, a thicker one to fill, you only need to do the one um, colonial knot. Okay, Ooh. there we go. Oh, that's cute. Adds a bit of interest. Okay, now. Tie that off. And what else are we going to do? Just finish by sewing these other pieces on, I suppose. Okay, well, I will um, have a look how long it's been so far. And maybe, yeah, 44 minutes, geez, just to sew on some buttons and make some few decisions. So all well, that was going to go on there. That'll go in there and that'll go in there. And then I'm going to do the vintage buttons. And I found this. Oh, and this one too. This big girl's going to go there. Just to tie that over. I found this in my little stash of stuff. It's so cute. And I was thinking... 
It's one of those iron on things. I think she's gonna sit in there because she's just too cute and it reminds me of my little my little puss Puska. I don't like that. So that's part of the last prompt, I suppose, the little critters. So there you go. Oh, well, I will um probably finish this off camera and stitch this down and you'll see the finished piece in the thumbnail. Oh, here we go. I've got this one as well. So I'll find some thinner thread. I mean, and that one doesn't really go too well, but it's just it's because it's one of my mum's. And, you know, it's got a bit of purple throughout, you know, here and here. So it works. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. None too exciting video, I can tell you. So one on buttons. Um, I will catch you um, in the next video, which will be Tuesday. And I'm going to be working on my um, sewing techniques, the wool. So, uh, yeah, it's been a bit mishmashy last week with all different videos. So um, there's still plenty of um, calendar um, patterns and kits available um, for you to get for our, my project next year. So just go to the website and have a look for, for those. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope that your piece is coming along nicely too. Okay, bye.